Hey everybody, welcome back to Nutrition Bootcamp. This is day four. My name is Christy Campbell. I'm the founder of FitMe and I'm super excited to give you the topic for the day and your action step. So today's topic is seasoning your food. This is the key. Making healthy eating a part of your permanent lifestyle is not just building healthy balanced plates with good portion sizes like we already talked about, making those quality choices taste good. Now this was something that was personally really tough for me because I just didn't learn this growing up. I didn't learn seasoning combinations. I thought you had to have a recipe with a hundred different ingredients. I didn't understand how simple it was to put together two or three different combinations and really make food taste good. So let me give you a couple seasoning guidelines to start with, and then I'm gonna give you seasoning combinations that you can try. And then your target for today is to try a new seasoning combination on your Fit Me plate. So you can season your vegetables, you can season your protein, you can even season your starch and your carb, but I want you to try a seasoning combination and then tell us what you did for your seasoning. If it's not one of the ones I listed, that's totally fine. If you have one that you love. I want you to season your food that way and then share it with the group and that way other people can learn from you. So first off, one of the big seasoning mistakes that people make is they don't actually season as they go. They wait till the end and then they try to season. And one of the things that we can learn from chefs is that they season as they go and they taste to make sure they've got the right balance. This is just one little way to make sure that you're not over seasoning or under seasoning your food. Another common mistake that we make is we over salt something. And so again, you can always add more, but you can't take away that salt. So add it as you go and make sure that you're not overdoing it on the salt because that one will get you. And so what are some seasoning combinations that you can use for your food? Option one actually includes a healthy fat. It is lemon juice, garlic and olive oil. That combination works great on vegetables, on salads, and even on chicken. Next combination that's gonna work really well is balsamic vinegar, Dijon mustard, and a little bit of honey. You can use this on salads, you can use it to marinate chicken. It is an awesome flavor combo. Another combination I like is cumin, chili powder, and paprika. You can do this on vegetables, you can do it on meat. It is a great combo to give you that little Mexican flavor that you're looking for, delicious. Another seasoning combo that's really simple is thyme, rosemary, and garlic. You're gonna get those Italian flavors, you can use it on vegetables, again, you can use it on meat, especially beef, really delicious. This one also includes a healthy fat. You can do coconut milk, curry powder and red pepper flakes. When you put those combinations together, you're gonna to get a Thai mixture that tastes really good. I've done this before with a pile of vegetables and some chicken and it's phenomenal. And that coconut milk is your healthy fat. This one's my personal favorite and I use it all the time. Onion powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper. It sounds so simple and sometimes when I season my food with this, people try it and they're like, I cannot believe that that's all that you put on it. It's that good. Another great flavor combination is ginger, sesame oil, and soy sauce. You can get ginger in little cubes from the grocery store to keep in your freezer and so you don't have to peel it fresh. And sesame oil is something you can buy once and it'll live in your pantry for a long time. And soy sauce is a great option to add flavor to your food. If you can't do gluten, you can substitute soy sauce with coconut aminos. Another one of my favorite seasoning blends is Cajun Spice. So you can do it yourself or you can just buy a Cajun seasoning blend. The Slap Yo Mama one, 10 out of 10. Hopefully a couple of these seasoning combinations work for you. And again, I want you to try to intentionally season your food a little bit differently today. Try a new seasoning blend, get some inspiration from the group. If you have a go-to that you love, do it. You do not have to do a new one. Do it and then share it with us so that we can learn from you your favorite seasoning combos. Now, remember, the whole intention behind this is to add flavor to your healthy food, to really enhance it. You don't have to cover it up. Chicken's gonna taste better, steak's gonna taste better, vegetables are gonna taste better when they are seasoned. So give it a try. Let me know if this is helpful. Post your dish with your seasoning blend listed to complete your action step for today. I look forward to seeing all of them and to get inspired by your seasoning combinations. See you tomorrow, bye.